when you thought cable TV couldn't get any better, Time Warner reaches into their magic hat and pulls out digital cable. Hi, I'm Tia Marlier, here to talk to you about a picture so brilliant, a sound so vibrant, and a programming selection so vast that it can only be described as digital. That's right, digital cable from Time Warner offers you unlimited options so you'll have total control of your television viewing. Let's take a look at what you can expect from digital cable. Your new remote control. The channel banner. The interactive program guide. Settings and functions. VCR recording. Pay-per-view. Parental control. It's not remote controls that change channels. It's people that change channels. Knowing the power of your remote control is important because you're the one that's going to be pushing the buttons. Like other remotes, your remote control provides a keypad that you can use to enter channel or pin numbers. It also contains standard buttons like mute, volume control, channel up or down, TV and VCR, power on and off, record, play, stop, rewind, fast forward, and so on. Your digital remote should be programmed to control both your TV and your VCR. Also, be sure to set the VCR VOD button to VCR. The real difference is in the greater range of features it offers you. The enhanced power of your digital cable remote control resides in its special buttons. The info button will get lots of use, as it is your gateway into the channel banner. The Guide button will display the interactive program guide, while the Settings button gives you access to quick and general settings. The Select button allows you to select highlighted screen options, and the arrow keys allow you to scroll through the various options. Buttons A, B, and C provide program search options in the interactive program guide, as well as allow you to accept or cancel different system features. Use the exit button to clear an interactive screen or to stop VCR recording. And let's not forget the favorite button, which will tune your system to your favorite channels. You may have the Checkmate remote control, which has a few different features. Press the device button for the cable, TV, video, or audio to change the device being operated. All turns on and off all devices. Audio allows you to turn on and off CD player or tuner. On the bottom of the remote, there is a PPV button for pay-per-view, on-screen help, and digital music. Of course, the best way for you to explore the possibilities of your remote is to use it. So pick it up, make sure the batteries are loaded, and begin to explore the exciting world of digital cable. The interactive program guide will always be your main island for channel surfing. But let's say you're hanging 10 on a smaller wave, but you still want a good ride. The answer's simple, dude. Just hop on the channel banner. One of the first things you'll notice with your digital cable system is the channel banner. Every time you change channels, the channel banner appears. It tells you what station you're currently watching, the current time, and the program running time. Want to know what other programs are on without channel surfing? From the channel banner, press the up-down arrow keys to see what's currently playing on other channels. Press the select button to tune to the current program shown on the channel banner. Press the left-right arrow keys to see what's showing at a different time. It's that easy. Wouldn't it be great if you could travel through your television just by pressing a few buttons on your remote control? Tia. Hey Tia, up here in the interactive program guide. Hey Chris, what are you doing in there? Well, Digital Cable's interactive program guide is so advanced that you can travel through your television. Geez, I knew you could do things like look for a program hours in advance, but to actually transport myself through the TV? That's just a figure of speech, but the interactive program guide does make it incredibly easy and convenient to get you where you want to go. Grab the remote and we're on our way. Let's take a quick look at the features of your interactive program guide. It's your navigator to what's on. 
Press the Guide button to display your interactive program guide. The on-screen guide has lots of information available. The top left portion provides program summary information. The bottom portion has program selections. In the top right corner, you can even continue to watch your current channel choice while browsing through other program choices. Use the up, down, left, right arrow keys to scroll through channels, time slots, and programs. Press the Info button for a more detailed description of a highlighted program. Press the Select button to tune to a current program. You can press Exit or Guide at any time to exit from the Interactive Program Guide. Would you like more ways to search for programs? Your Interactive Program Guide also allows you to search by theme and by title. In addition, you can search for future programming. For example, using your number pad, press 5 and then arrow right and the guide moves five days into the future. To get back, press 5 and arrow left and you're back to where you started. You can move up to seven days in advance. Your interactive program guide is your navigator to a vast world of entertainment and information. Let's see what else your interactive program guide can do. Have you ever forgotten about a program that you just didn't want to miss? Well, better than a piece of string around your finger, your interactive program guide allows you to set a reminder timer. If you're watching a different channel when your selected program is close to starting, a message will remind you that the program will begin in one minute. Just highlight a future program you want to watch and press the select button. An instruction window asks for your preference. Follow the instructions to record or set a reminder. Your selection will then be highlighted on the guide. Now, you'll never miss a special program again. To get the most out of your digital cable service, you'll want to adjust the settings and functions to meet your own personal preferences. Your digital cable system offers you two levels of settings, quick settings and general settings. Let's first look at the quick settings screen so you can start to enjoy your digital system's most frequently used features. Press the settings button to display the quick settings screen. Use the up, down, left, right arrow keys to highlight settings and choose options. Press the select button to complete the function and return to your TV, or press the exit button to exit from the quick settings screen without making changes. Now let's see what these quick settings options are. Start recording current channel now allows you to record the current channel. Press the exit button to stop the recording at any time. The Activate Second Audio option, SAP, allows you to activate an alternate audio source for your TV, such as Spanish language programming. Since not all channels offer SAP, turn off this option if you don't receive sound on some channels. With Add Current Channel to Favorites, you can add the currently tuned channel to your list of favorite channels. Now, whenever you press the Favorite button, your TV will tune to the first favorite channel after the channel you're watching you can designate up to 30 channels as favorites. Activate Parental Control activates the Parental Control feature to block viewing which you designate. Programs can be blocked by rating, entire channels, or by time. We'll have more detailed information on setting your program parameters later in the show. If you like falling asleep to the television, the Sleep Timer option lets you set a sleep timer for up to four hours before the system will automatically turn itself off. The General Settings screen gives you even more ways to personalize the features of your digital system. Press the Settings button to display the Quick Settings screen, then press the triangular A, which takes you to General Settings. Use the up-down keys, then press Select to choose a function. Follow the easy-to-use on-screen instructions to complete the process. Press the Info button anytime for a detailed description of each general setting. Press the Settings or Exit button to exit from the General Settings screen. Let's take a look at some of the options you'll use often. Once you've mastered these, the rest will be a breeze. The General Settings screen allows you to edit your list of favorite channels. Using the up-down arrow keys, scroll to Favorite Channels. Press Select or Right arrow to display a list of available channels. Scroll to your favorite channels using the up-down arrow keys. Now. 
Press Select to add or remove a highlighted channel from your list of favorites. A star icon will tell you that you have designated this as a favorite channel. One thing you'll notice is that General Settings gives you a range of timers you can set. If you want to review or cancel the timers you have set for watching and recording, use the Alert Summary option. Other timer options include Reminder Timer. This gives you the ability to set up to eight program timers. Sleep Timer lets you decide how long the digital home terminal will remain on before automatically turning itself off. Power Off Timer allows you to define a specific time each day at which the TV automatically turns off. With VCR Timer, you can review and edit VCR timers you have set for future recordings. You can set up to eight VCR timers. And last but not least, Power On Timer allows you to define a specific time of day at which the digital terminal automatically turns on, along with the channel it tunes to. Pay-Per-View Purchases allows you to review your past and pending pay-per-view purchases. You'll learn more about pay-per-view in just a few minutes. Power On lets you decide which channel comes on when you turn on your digital set-top. AC Outlet lets you control power to your TV when the digital terminal is turned on. Your TV must be plugged into the AC outlet in order to use this function. Always on means you must turn your TV on separately. On with set top means your TV turns on when you turn on your digital set top. You can define the constant volume level with audio level. Decide what the LED display on your digital set top will be by using clock option. Language lets you define your preferred language. English is the default where audio in another language is unavailable. English, French, and Spanish are currently available. The SAP option allows you to define a second audio source that is output to your TV, such as a second language or other audio material. Incidentally, because I know you're wondering, I've mastered all the settings and functions, so now I can concentrate on watching these new channels. The dreaded VCR. Why does everyone fear this harmless piece of equipment? Fear no more. It's digital cable to the rescue. Whether you're recording your favorite shows while at work or taping a movie while you watch a game, using your VCR will no longer be like piloting the space shuttle. Your digital cable system makes taping easier than ever. Make sure you have turned your VCR on and inserted a blank tape. You must have the VCR Commander module to record using your remote control. If you do not have the VCR Commander, a warning will be displayed on the screen. You must then use your VCR remote control to set recording times and record programs. Remember to tune the TV to the channel you want to record. Want to record a current program? Tune to the program you want to record and press the record button. Press the select button and your VCR will begin recording the current channel. Press exit to stop recording at any time. You can also tape a current program from the quick settings screen. If you have the VCR Commander module, you can record future programs. If you do not have the VCR Commander, a warning will be displayed on the screen. You must then use your VCR remote control to set recording times and record programs. Remember to tune the TV to the channel you want to record. Press the Guide button to display your interactive program guide. Use the up, down, left, right arrow keys to highlight the future program you wish to record, and then press the Select button. Now using the A, B, or C buttons, you can choose to A, Record Program, B, Set Reminder, C, Exit. If you selected Record Program, it will be highlighted on the guide, and the program will be recorded in the future. Your interactive program guide will warn you of any time conflicts with other timers that you have set. If you change your mind about a future recording, remember you can cancel it in the VCR timer setting, which is part of the general settings screen. Press the settings button, then press A to get to general settings, highlight your preference, and select cancel. Or you can go to alert summary, view all of your timer events, and cancel from that screen as well. You will need a VCR Commander for complete VCR functionality. Learn how to use my VCR. Check. 
Let's see. A slew, a bunch, a bevy, a plethora. I'm just thinking of ways to describe all the new movies and events you'll have to choose from when ordering pay-per-view on digital cable. And how about how simple it is to order? Let's see. Elementary, fundamental, piece of cake, no problem. Then there's the convenience of pay-per-view. Comfort of your own home, pronto, lickety-split. With your digital cable system, you can order Time Warner Home Theater Pay-Per-View on the spot. It's now easier than ever. Just tune to the pay-per-view channel of your choice. Now, press B to automatically order the movie or event of your choice. If the program has already started, your TV will automatically tune to it. If the program has yet to start, a countdown window will appear, showing the time remaining before the program begins. That's all there is to it. Are you curious about Time Warner Home Theater pay-per-view purchases? With just a touch of a button, you can review all of your pay-per-view purchases, both past and pending. Press the Settings button twice to display your general settings screen. Scroll to Pay-per-view purchases and review your past and pending purchases. If you decide to cancel a pay-per-view purchase, highlight the event you want to cancel and press the Select button. You may cancel any event that is marked as pending. A message will confirm your cancellation or indicate it is too late to do so. Your digital cable system gives you the power to control the programming that enters your home using the parental control feature. Now it's time to learn how to design your parental control preferences. As mentioned earlier, you can block programming as you see fit by rating, channels, or by time. First, press Settings. Then press the triangular A, which takes you to General Settings. Then scroll to your selection. With Block Channels, simply arrow right and highlight the channels that you want to block. Press the Select button to add or remove a channel from your list of blocked channels. When a channel is blocked and activated, you'll see a small lock in the locked position. We'll show you how to lock that lock in a few moments. Next, you can block by rating. Simply arrow right and choose your rating using the Select button. Keep in mind that if you ever need to go back a step, you can do so by pressing the left arrow key. Now you'll notice in your blocked rating list that all ratings above your selected rating will automatically appear. Press A to accept and now you're ready to activate. Now let's set up a block time preference. First, arrow right twice. Using select, you can choose your day by date, weekends, or particular weekdays. Then use the up-down arrows and select your start-stop time by choosing hours and minutes as well as AM or PM. When you have the desired times, press A to accept and you'll notice your first block time. You can block up to four time periods and they can be controlled individually using the on-off function. Now that you have designed your parental control guidelines, you can activate at your discretion. To do so, press Settings, scroll to Activate Parental Control and press Select. The screen will ask for your personal identification number or PIN. Use 0000 as a default, unless you have already established a different PIN. Press A and your blocked features are activated. You can disable parental control by simply going to Activate Parental Control, press Select, enter your PIN, press A, and programming is restored. To establish a personal identification number or PIN, go to General Settings and select Blocking PIN arrow right and select Change. The screen asks for you to enter your current PIN. If you haven't selected a PIN yet, enter the default number of 0000. Now enter a new number that you'll remember, then re-enter that same number to confirm.
press A, and that's all there is to it. The world of home entertainment is a pretty crowded place these days, with no shortage of providers to choose from. But when it comes to the most important factors, like clarity, control, variety, value, and of course, enjoyment, there really is only one choice. Digital. Digital Cable from Time Warner. Welcome to What's Next. Thanks for watching.